So the Blue Beetle trailer released today, and I have some thoughts on it. I know this video is a bit late, but I mean, hey, I have a life. So, yeah, let's get into this Blue Beetle trailer. Um, I don't know much about Blue Beetle, if I'm being completely honest with you. I know about Jaime Reyes, who is the Blue Beetle in this movie, because mainly I used to watch The Brave and the Bold as a kid a lot. Like, so much. That show was just everything to me. That was younger, bad in the original Justice League show. Just great, great stuff. But anyway, so with this trailer, I was looking forward to it because this movie was supposed to come out to HBO Max originally, but instead of getting shelved to look back, girl did, this movie got put in the theaters and it's coming out in August. And yeah, I was curious to see how it looks. And how does it look? How do I feel with the Blue Beetle trailer? I think this looks like a lot of fun. I think people are being way, way too harsh on the movie, they're just, they're really laying into it, at least on my side of Twitter, because the side of Twitter I'm on is always super negative, wait, I guess that's all of Twitter, but, anywho, so yeah, what I've been seeing mainly is, is people just are not digging the trailer, because it's just really, really comedic, I guess, and it looks, say it looks bland, it looks like a CW show, like Spy Kids or whatever, which to that I say, um, okay, whatever, like, <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. But still, I mean, it looks like fun. It looks like kind of in the same reign as something like Shang-Chi or Shazam. More like Shazam because that movie had a much smaller budget and a much smaller like pacing to it. This movie seems to have the same kind of way. I mean, Reyes is such a good actor. Not actor, but a character. The other you get to play him in this movie is from Cobra Kai. And I have admittedly not seen Cobra Kai, so... Because I'm not a big karate kid guy. Love the first movie, but it's not really big in the Cobra Cry. But what I've seen, because I did look up scenes from him in the show, he does seem like he's a really good actor. He seems like he's bringing this character to life. And Jaime Reyes in the comics is one of the best characters in DC, in my opinion. Because while I don't know a lot about Blue Beetle, I know a lot about him as a character. I don't know much about Ted Kord or Dan Garrett or any of the other previous Blue Beetles, but I do know about him, and he's great. It's the constant struggle he has with the Scarab. Which they do hint on in this trailer where there's like, sometimes they'll listen to you, sometimes they won't. So, it has that Venom vibe in a way, but in a good way because, I mean, of course, I love Venom, but Venom's stupid. This looks like it's going to handle a little bit more of a interesting way than Venom did. My biggest complaint with the trailer is that the voice in his head is basically a lot like Karen from Spider-Man Homecoming. It isn't really distinct in a way. It doesn't really stand out amongst the AI voices. It just It feels like it could be something from an Iron Man movie. But, I mean, still works. <laughs> it still gets the job done. And the biggest thing about the Scarab in the comics, at least from what I've read, is that it can be quite brutal sometimes. It can make Reyes do so many unlawful and weird things that it's just like, he would never do, but it makes him do it because he has basically control of the body, and he has to fight to get control of his own body throughout the comics, and hopefully this movie, that was a big point in the not a big point, but a kind of a point in the animated Teen Titans movies I saw. I did see those. I just never finished the videos. But, anywho. So, yeah. um, The villain in this is, I believe, Ted Kord's sister. um, And, or wife. Who knows? We don't even know who Susan Saran is playing. One of the courts, anyway. So, she'll be a good villain. She's been a good villain in the past. Have you seen Enchanted? She can do a good villain. Uh, it's going to be different, but still. And, of course, we have... I believe it's like a cybernetic type. I didn't remember him from the comics. He was probably there. I just forgot. But a cybernetic type villain who takes over a player like the body of a guy because he gets killed or whatever. It's something. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I say I know a lot about the comics, but I don't know what his name is. I'll put it in the comments or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, the humor in this looks like fun. You know, the action looks good. It does have, there's some shots like when he's in space that just like a little cheap. But the trailer is good. The music fits it perfectly. I like that his family knows that he's Blue Beetle. You know, that's something we rarely see in superhero movies nowadays. Or shows. Like in Miss Marvel. That was really great when they did it towards the end of the show. But at that point, it was a bit too late. Here, we have George Lopez and this calling Batman a fascist. Like, it's cool. It's some good stuff. And I really enjoyed this trailer. That was a lot of fun. What to come? Why do you guys think of this trailer? Um, I don't really do trailer reviews a lot, so... Mainly, it's been for DC movies lately because they just look the most interesting to me. Better than Marvel, in my opinion, so far. But yeah, 
I guess I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Thank you.